YouTube, it's Brad Phillips. What the heck is going on here? We've been trying a little something new with these cars. The camera crew is switching spots with me for a couple moments during these videos. We are gonna look at this beauty right here. Mm -hmm. It looks so amazing. Rock Hobbies makes this one sixth scale crawler. And yes, we are gonna drive it for you right now. It is super cool. We do have an unbox build radio setup coming. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of driving. You wanna try first? Sure, ready? Obviously this one doesn't come as a ready to run in our case, but we have it equipped on 3S, 3200 soft pack because our fives were charging. So the camera crew is gonna do a nice, neat drive for you. That is full, full throttle. That's full throttle? Yep. Okay, now remember this is a crawler, so it's gonna be super fast. And it does go slow. Oh yeah, you can go really you can go real slow. Real slow if you want real to. Real slow. There are trims for throttle and for steering. Let's get off of the road and do some off-road. Obviously it's gonna do this grass just fine. Should we go test our rocks? Yeah, let's do rocks. Oh yeah. Remember, back up a little bit, see if you can get around these bushes. We noticed that the steering was pretty amazing because there's it's ghostly. See the steering wheel? Mm -hmm. The steering wheel turns, so cool. That's cool. We both thought that was pretty neat. Obviously the seats are made of real fabric. Should hey, let's do a nature walk. Head up towards where you've been no, working? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive out toward the runway. We're gonna give you guys a shot of how well it does in the grass. This one six scale is so much better for getting through grass. Yeah. Definitely has some power. The camera crew, of course, is not having any trouble nope. controlling it. You know, although she just lost, hey, the road's over here. The road's it's over here. It's a crawler. <laughs> drive your crawler on the road. Well, you can. We'll go off of this hill here and show them how far down this hill is. This is where we would normally be overshooting the runway and crashing in miserable suffer uh, suffering. <laughs> hey, don't go into the super tall grass. It's fine. Can handle it. Okay, guys, this is a steep hill here. And I'm only probably 40% maybe throttle. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see We're if I can the more get. Interesting let's see if stuff. I can get all the way down to the end of the driveway before Brian takes it from me. I'm really desperately trying not to steal it from you yet. Should I go over here? Or you may go out to the road. I think we have choices here. I think we go down this rough spot here into the construction zone. Okay. Or we could go over here, and then you could drive out of the ditch. Which, just so you guys know. Let's demo how deep this is. You ready? Okay, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go down there real quick. Oh. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the people driving Girl, down see, there. I told you you were gonna take it. From <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just show you guys because this is way down here. It doesn't look like much on camera, but I'm six foot tall and my eye level is right here mm -hmm. at the Jimny. Oh, that's such a cool place to film from. We could just go straight off the edge, but instead I'm gonna I'm gonna try to crash it this way. <laughs> This thing handles the grass absolutely no problem at all. And then just crawling wise, look, I can go back up in the grass. No problem whatsoever there. Let's see if we can go up through the thick of it. This is a very rough patch here. It's very steep. And I'm about 50% throttle there. Not quite enough weight. I'm gonna see if I can get some speed. Oh, there we go. Oh, we've crashed. Don't okay. Break my toy. I know I don't want to break it. I'm just showing them it can go up the hill. Okay, so I don't want to crash this thing just quite yet, so I'll bring it back down. All right, so here we go. Now remember, grass is slick, so grass is tough on crawlers. And if you have a low point, you got to be careful. There is a lot of weight. We need more weight in this thing is what mm -hmm. we need. We could get some grass. The traction will be better once we, whoa, buddy. Okay, so I have another place. I wanna try another place. Okay, so we're just a little bit too steep. By the way, for the record, that is an exceptionally steep area. That, oh, I yeah. can barely get out of that with my actual off-road mower. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got some grass in your, 
In the diff? Riding along. <laughs> yes, you can do wheelies for sure. Look at the burnout. Gotta love it. Okay, so basically I think the camera crew is upset because I stole the controls from her. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and work my way back out of the ditch. But I'm just going to give you guys a nice slow run while I'm getting out of here. That was super fun. You were going to love that compared to what we did earlier. Okay, trading off again. Let's trade. Okay. Okay, so now the camera crew is back in command. Let's go. I want to go down in over here. So this is a little area that we've been working out, trying to get the bugs to not have a breeding ground for water. Should we go over here where the creek is? I would go in this side, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, actually, I'm going to go down there first. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Trying to get rid of the mosquito. Yeah, the mosquito breeding ground. The mosquito breeding ground. We do not want right. them. Jimmy, downhill. Feels like it's just going to go and then keep going. No, we'll you're see. good. We'll you got this. And this is legit, guys. Look at that steepness there. That's not an exaggeration. So good. Cool. Okay, now see if you can cross. Now try doing it so that you're at an angle and stuff. Does it go? Go nice and slow. I gotta turn more, don't I? Whoa. What are you caught on? I don't know. It's a little ruts right there. Goodness gracious. She's crashed. So if you go really fast, then you can definitely go just about anywhere with any vehicle. If you go really slow, can I do some off-road here? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna switch back now. Okay, so what I wanna try to do is when you're driving these vehicles in the mud, one of the things that I've found is sometimes your nose, you see how the nose bumper is a little bit farther out? Sometimes you have to enter the mess backward, mm. okay? Then once you get in the mess, then you can kind of renegotiate. Oh yeah, this is legit like off-road stuff, muddy. guys. Yep. Really muddy, look, we're leaving actual tracks on the side that is something cool now if i go any further here i'm probably going to get actually stuck but i don't know you want to try i don't know you might make it you think i can make it over that rock over the big rock i may have to launch i don't i don't think i can do it without jumping it i just don't want to get high centered right there because i don't want to walk in the mud to get it i know let's take another path like i could totally jump in there and get stuck no problem but i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to exit the creek bed here and i'm going to try to go up the side here and then go around look at that so realistic look how chunky and muddy the tires are now that is so cool guys now i could probably launch it there but it's so heavy i'm afraid i'm going to break something so i kind of want to see if i can get over here Look at that thing. It's actually going to dig itself a hole is what it's going to do. Hmm. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to do it. I got to just very carefully work my way out of this mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up. We're going to just try this thing out. I want to show you a burnout up here if I can get it to this dry spot. Okay, so check this out. Look at that power, guys. It is like super powerful, but it's also powerful in all the right ways. It doesn't just burn out every time. You actually move the vehicle. Look at that. I'm just taking it through all the poison ivy and stuff. <laughs> Let the kids play with it later.
So we just love driving these off-road crawlers. They're super fun. Let's see if I can recover this without getting crashed. Look at that big log I'm about to hit. Oh yeah. So one thing you're gonna find out about these crawlers is that it's just so much more exciting, in my opinion, than just going fast. Going fast is super fun. But what, what you'll find is when you go slow, you can really appreciate the cool inner workings of the vehicle. And you know, like the way that that differential just connected with the top wheel and the bottom wheel and created equilibrium. I mean, it's just like all the cool things you wanna see. And you, you know, the wheel spin is so limited and this is still running a brushed motor. That's the crazy thing. I thought it would be weak, but it's actually extremely powerful. And we haven't broken anything yet. That's the cool part. Mm -hmm. When you guys are getting into the fast cars, you know, that are going 70, 80 miles an hour, which is just unheard of back when I started driving cars, you're looking at serious damage when you crash. And, oh, look at the dirt shoot down. That's so cool. We're gonna dig a hole. Look at that. Look at the ruts, guys. Those are legit ruts. So I need to go, I need to go and either get speed or get weight or I'm gonna go over here and see if I can do a different path. Yes, the different path worked. Oh, that looks so real. <laughs> so cool. Trying to get it to jump for you. Okay, so I think what we need to do is let's go down to the next section okay. because the next section just offers a little bit more of the clay stuff. Man, I just love looking at that thing. It's so gorgeous. Come over here so you can give them a side view. I think the side view is way better. Yeah, it's super cool. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I love watching it negotiate over the little bumps and stuff. So if you guys like this, this is made by Rock Hobby. And obviously you can buy it from the links in our video description below. It's definitely fun. You can find a nice construction area where you've got some ruts and just go to town. I'm gonna try to go real slow down this hill. Of course I could plow down the hill. That'd be a whole lot less cool to watch. Look at this. That is so cool. It's got enough weight to it that it actually just looks like a real vehicle. And the way it bounces, if you've ever seen one of these things on video, from World War II, that's just exactly the way that they would bounce. Just be careful about high centering, but look at the difference in grade there. I'm practically under where the vehicle would have been. And here it is, whoa, there we go. 15 kilogram servo gives you plenty of power and it is a waterproof servo. So it's not gonna necessarily be like immediate failure. Granted, you could crash this thing. I could see getting into some nasty environments and crashing. You wanna see if we can get down low? Go into the, the pits. Guys, this is the real like tractor tire width. It's, it's a rough area and this <laughs> thing is just doing it. The four wheel drive is perfect. I can't believe how good it's doing. Oh no. no, the first crash. Oh no, get back up on your feet. Oh, okay. So that's one thing too I wanna mention. This thing is so beautiful, you're gonna feel bad when you crash. Did we break anything? Not yet. Yes, so cool. And yes, we're going slow for a reason because I don't necessarily wanna destroy this thing. But look at the mud, that is so sweet. It just. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear the, the noise. Should we put one of the mics in there so they can listen to the squishiness of the mud? Oh, tree, can we make it through? You better believe it. Nope. <laughs> yes. If I were to try to walk in there right now, I would be all covered in mud. Yeah. And one thing too that's nice about having a, a somewhat fast crawler is you can go drive it like right in front of your neighbor's house and leave all the mud <laughs> right there. Look at that tree. You don't want to run into that tree. 
So guys, when you get your hands on something like this, you are gonna really enjoy it. It's so much fun to drive these things. And once you get into a, a rock crawler that's gonna give you a little bit of actual power and a little bit of four wheel drive action, you are gonna just love looking at it. I mean, I could sit there and do that all day. Did my body pop off on the front? Let's look at it square. When I flipped it? Nope. I don't think so. That looks so sweet. <laughs> so when you guys come to Brian Phillips RC, oh, and by the way, if you didn't already know this, there is trim on here for throttle and steering. It's like if you're driving along, you can make trim adjustments as you're going all you have to do is just click that button and then just drive the car back. So cool. What do you think of this one compared to the small one we did recently? I mean, Usually the bigger is better thing is true. So I would say this is pretty cool just because it has so much more power. You just don't get stuck on stuff. No. I mean, I feel like the other one we did recently, the six by six was awesome too. And it was super fun, especially in this spot. But I felt like even in the grass, it would get stuck. Mm -hmm. um, now I did okay in the grass, but like this one just makes the grass itch, you know what? And it's, this one is cool because... Like that is incredible. That's kind of hard to walk up. Yeah. Look at this. Just up and down. No problems. It just does what it needs to do. No problem. And then you get into this really rough terrain and it does great. Not only that, but it looks amazing too. Oh no. All right, we're going to reset. Okay, so we had a nosy neighbor, which is not <laughs> uncommon around here. Because why would you not be nosy? If I saw this thing pull up out of the ditch, I would have been like <laughs> be totally stopping too. too. I just can't believe how good it traverses that hill. You know how I many know. years we've lived here and I was afraid to traverse this I hill? I can barely walk up it, yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing. I think that's one of the cool things with this scale versus the slightly smaller that we just did. Uh-oh. Oh, that is a big... We found the limits. <laughs> oh, no! Let's see if we can get unstuck. You got to go slow, Brian. Rock it like a real vehicle. Did you know how to rock a vehicle? Did they teach you that in driver's ed, camera crew? Um, no. When I took driver's ed, the girl I drove with the first day got in and asked which was the brake and which was the gas. Oh, my goodness. That was I would have just scary. been like, excuse me, I need to leave. <laughs> like, my I, mom's I'm calling. feeling sick. I yeah. have some exploding di explosive diarrhea. <laughs> How do you manage to make it into driver's ed I without have no knowing? no idea. What, like, which? Oh, no, we which killed it again. So, camera crew, do you want to try it down here? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to tip this back up. And I'm just going to remember all the different scratches and scuffs. Oh, so which ones are my fault? Yes. Did you leave me in the stuck spot just of course, for fun? Oh, obviously. Okay. Let's see if she can get out of this. She can. Well, don't floor it. Go slow. What are you doing there? I don't know. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out which way I'm going to go to get out. No, she knocked That's over the, the tree. That's the way I'm going to go. That is, <laughs> come on. We love Mother Nature here. Wow, that sounded terrible, whatever that was. Okay, but I think before you got stuck, I was saying the one, the really small, like the 1 18th scale ones are cool just because they're so small, but this one is big enough and capable enough that you get down here and you kind of forget that it's like this little toy you're driving around. You feel unlimited. Yeah. And the thing I like about them is that it's actually super capable. I mean, it's like hard to walk down here, let alone drive a radio controlled car or Jeep. I'm kind of feeling like we're gonna not, that we're gonna have to keep this area a little bit- Cleared out. Wild so that we can do this. Yeah, I know. We did just... this just to drain that area up there so we would have drainage that would come down and go out there because our hill comes up here and it's crest here. And so we only drain about 30 or 40 feet into that. 
So we were just trying to figure out a way to get this puddle that used to make all the mosquitoes would breed up here. Mm -hmm. So now we wanted to make it drain. And we've been working on that for the last week because it's been dry enough. Okay, I want to see if I can go up the hill because you did it in a different oh, spot. Oh, you can do it a million different ways. Uh-oh, the camera crew uh, got stuck. You can do it. The rope, I turned the wrong way. Shoot, hold on. Uh-oh, don't tip over. Don't tip no. over. I mean, don't floor it either. That's cheating. Because you could well, I know. like I just to, like, go back and floor it just to show the people you can do it. Get your speed up and just go. Yeah, See, I it's mean, not you can just hard go. to get out. It's hard yeah. to get out and make it look make cool. Make it look cool. And making it look cool. It's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. I mean, for sure. That's what I like doing. Yeah. Because anybody could just floor it and go up a hill. But you want to be able to floor it and make it look awesome too. So yeah, this this is I mean this is sort of the happy accident area for us. Yeah, especially we didn't right really now. expect it to be anything, uh -huh. but we've now used it twice, and it's really fun to, to go in the mud. I didn't cool. think it'd be fun to take a brand new toy and go in the mud with it. I figured that would kind of make me well, in my OCD tendencies. Should maybe not park it on the kitchen counter when we're done. I don't know. This I mean, there's only a little bit of cow <laughs> manure in here. It stinks down here. <laughs> it smells like, like, it smells like dirty water. It smells like a farm. Okay, now I'm going up the hill. Yeah, hold on, I want to see your tires. Oh. Look how sweet and dirty those tires are. I know, they're are. super cool. And look at all the mud on the sides. That is so cool. It looks totally real. <laughs> looks just like our tractor does right now. It does. All right, so I feel like this video is gone forever too. This is one 3200 3S battery. Yeah. And we've driven, we have a 22 minute video here. And so the, oh wait, wait, don't tip it. You gotta get turned straight or you're gonna fall over. Where did you go up? Why am I having a hard time now? We'll go up this one right here. Okay. Can you go up this one? I just went up a tire track, I think. Yeah, maybe that's what I was doing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on? I thought you were going to make a comment. I was going to say, don't make comments about. I'm not going to make comments about women drivers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. I know that's totally off limits. You can make comments about women drivers, <laughs> I believe. Not a lot of off-roading happening, I don't think, with a lot of. Maybe it's just too loose there. That's what I'm wondering, because I feel like I just can't get traction. If I had a little bit more weight. Here, hold on. Try doing that again. Try doing that again. I want to see it real close. Oh, yes. So cool. See, it's like See, really it's just, slippy. Yeah, it's really loose. Okay, give it, give it a lot. That is so cool to watch you dig holes. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Woo. Sorry, people. I know I totally cheated there, but I didn't want my entire ditch collapsed. Uh -uh. That is so much fun. All right, do you want to do a little bit of a nature walk or are we going to go get a rock? A rock? A rock for counterweight. Oh, for counterweight? I think a counterweight would be pretty cool on this thing. Well, how much I think more, it would, much can more we go through the actual water down here? We didn't. Should we go through this water? Ooh. Yes, let's go through the disgusting water. Uh, it says waterproof. That doesn't mean submersible. Well, it's not that deep. Okay, drive down this hill and try not to kill everybody involved. Ooh, okay. Ready? Just brake like you were breaking down a hill. Have you seen me drive the tractor down here? I That's, try not to watch. It kind of scares me. Yeah, it's a little bit scary to Just do it in real until life, too. one of the kids is like, Dad, tipped over. No, I won't tip over. I'll crash and flip over, like, lengthwise. If we're going to drive through the water. Oh, there's water. water right there, too. And then, yes, there's a big old, like, steel something sticking out of the ground right there. I don't know yeah, what I the know. heck that is. I don't know where it came from. Oh, you're going to the, the shallow one? I was talking about down there. I know. There. I'm going to let you drive through that one. Okay. All right. Unless I break our new toy first. Don't break it. Oh, that is pretty cool. That's so cool. All right, she's actually in the water. She's in the real water. That's the cool. real world. Can you turn around and go back through? Um, Are you going to go to the deeper spot? Maybe. I was going to let you go to through the deeper spot. Okay. You want to trade off? Yeah. Here, wait. Let me come down the hill. All right. So everybody, in case you're wondering, the whole Ooh. camera crew driving slash being on camera thing, it's not really a big deal. It's just uh, kind of new for us. Um, historically, the camera crew doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, it's not like I haven't allowed her to be on camera like some of you have suggested. <laughs> That's uh, totally ridiculous. 
because anybody that's married understands that that is not the way it works. And also, not I have my own channel that's not RC related. What? Oh no, oh no. I don't like to be on camera flying because I'm not very good at flying and it's really hard to learn something new on camera when it's like not. Whatever, you've flown. Well, I know. That's like more than most people have ever done that are brand new. But like this doesn't intimidate me as much. I that feel was so that cool. That was cool. All right, I, I'm gonna see if I can back up through okay. it. And I'm giving about like 10% pressure, like hardly any. That is totally That's the way it is cool. in real life, guys. I've been doing this all week and it's so fun to watch <laughs> it because I've literally been doing that. And I, I remember when we got our new tractor, on the side of the tractor wheel, they, on the rim, there's this cup that's like this. And in that is the air fill valve. And I'm like, come on, what do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> and they've got a really short, stubby uh, air fill uh, valve. And so I'm like, okay, you guys don't think much of me. Well, guess what? This week I had that thing packed with mud. Yeah. Like to the tune, I was using a screwdriver to clean it out. That was happening right here. Mm -hmm. So watching this thing dig through the mud is so weirdly, amazingly cool and exactly like what I was doing just this week. That is amazing. I love watching it do this. Yeah, we're gonna have to like make this a little spot down here. I think we do too. And you know what's cool. nice about this? I just noticed it doesn't high center very easy. Look it how really high doesn't. that is. Mm -hmm. That is way a big bump. It's got some power. Oh, I'm talking about clearance now. Yeah. Oh, hey, did you want me to show you how to get out of the hole like this? I got, okay, yeah, I'll watch you. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going about 10% throttle and I'm just like watching the front tires, not the back tires. And then I just dig a big old rut. Mm -hmm. Good job, that yep. was perfect. But look at that, I cleaned off the tires. <laughs> I didn't even leave anything for the neighbors. Or on this one, you could just try to drive up the, you know, ditch through all the, the wild, crazy, deadly plants. Yes. There it is. <laughs> that was super scale. Oh, that was kind of scary. Did I break anything? Um, not that I can see. I hope not. Hold on, I gotta not step in the actual mud. Okay. So as you can see, this thing is awesome. Did I break it? No, I was just gonna, the grass was extra design. I love the steering wheel turning. That is I know, so that's cool. so cool. I love that I can play with this thing and I don't have to feel bad about getting it dirty mm -hmm. because it is supposed to be dirty. Because a clean Jeep is sort of like cheating on the world. I don't know if I can make it down there. There's way too many big rocks. You don't think so, do you? I... I think it's probably, I mean, I might be able to get down there. I just don't know if I can actually turn because it may not be wide enough. I can widen that a little bit. Are you going to go get it when you get stuck? Well, I mean, I could hold the camera. <laughs> I don't think I can make the turn. I don't think I can make that turn right now. If you right go now. at an angle, you might be able to get down there and how about drive I straight. Enter, how about I enter over here and see if I can get in here? Oop, I hit high centered. Oh, no. So guys, I don't know if, if you enjoy RC with your family or if you are kind of like an RC loner and you just kind of like do it on your own and your wife kind of hates it or if your husband hates it and you love it and you know, whatever, whatever your relationship is like in that manner. But we've really enjoyed doing these things together. It's fun to be able to share some of these cool experiences and yeah, if you can make it into a family fun activity, it really does help to soften the budget issues that come up with these type of items. Because everybody knows in our current economy with all the inflation and all the high gas prices and all the misery and suffering that strangely comes with printing seven or eight trillion dollars. It's so weird how that works and shutting down the economy. Well, anyway, with all that crap, it really does help if you guys are struggling to choose between a new couch and this amazing gym, uh, whatever RC vehicle it is today, getting your wife involved will help to get the yes that you're looking for. <laughs> because it is really fun. And the thing is, it's like a wholesome thing that you can do with your family. It's relatively safe. I mean, if you hit yourself in the face with this, it's probably not gonna be a good day. 
Um, but the truth is, you mean radio controlled cars, radio controlled airplanes, radio controlled helicopters. I think of the lot of them, it's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. You know, you can send your kids actually outside to do something, which is nice. They don't have to be on a screen, although you could put a screen in front of them. You could do FPV, which would be totally cool. And I think this is something, if you're trying to get your kids involved, you can get them involved younger than flying, probably, because yeah. it's less... A little bit, a little easier. A little bit easier to start. For the average kid. I mean, there's mm -hmm. kids that can fly at, at young ages, mm -hmm. too. But, you know, there's always going to be those outliers that are just good at everything. That is so cool looking. It almost, it looks great on road, too. It does. I'm trying to get that stick out. There we go. I just love the way it looks. I could sit here and do this for hours and I just don't want to make this video hours long, but it's so dang fun to do it. Yeah, because we've been driving for almost 30 minutes. Wow. On this one 3S battery. That was quite the suicide mission there and it survived. This is extremely rough down here. I cannot believe yeah. how good this thing is done. See, that's how you do it. <laughs> so guys, in closing. Very cool. Amazing, good choice. If you're looking for a crawler, we've had a handful of them now in recent vintage. I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. I love the way that it is ultra scale. I mean, what more can you ask for? This is two or three S from FMS uh, via Rock Hobby. And it's just super fun. It's almost ready to run in that this particular model happens to come with just the transmitter and receiver. Of course, you can always replace that if you want. I definitely think that it, it would be the type of vehicle where if you get it, you could put that thing out there. You could tow out your, your airplanes like your your P51 1.2 would probably about right, I would imagine. Might That'd be a 1.5 cool. meter. But I mean, how sweet would that be? There is a little clip on the back. I don't know if you guys saw that already, but there is a clip for a... Oh, that little black, is that A little hitch for? adapter. Yeah, yep. show them the, the thing opening. It opens, no, you gotta lift on the top. Hun, the top of the clip. Hun, you had it. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a clamp. Yep. So it's a clamp style hitch. Now, once cool. you hitch, you'd probably have to throw like a zip tie on there, I assume. Yeah. But I mean, for what it's worth, I think this thing is great. Very cool. And I think what we're going to do, the last time we did an unbox build radio setup of a vehicle, we kind of, this is a good way to clean your tires. And if you can crank it to the left and the right, you'll get all the stuff off of your tread. Because then if the kids like drive it through your living room later tonight, you won't feel bad about it <laughs> or as bad. I love that it tips when you're turning. That is so cool. Plus you get that wear and tear look on the tires. Oh man, it's so fun. All right, guys, buy one from the links in the video description. We're going to keep driving this for a little while longer, but I have no idea how long this thing is going to go on this battery. It's going to go forever. And, uh, I think the other battery we're going to run this on will be a 5002S hard pack. So we'll go ahead and link to the battery we did use, the charger we used, and of course this product, which is awesome. So super excited to bring you these uh, wheeled vehicles. <laughs> the ground vehicles are super fun. I liked them even before I had airplanes. But the reason I liked them before I had airplanes is because I didn't have airplanes yet. And the technology has improved so much. So even though we were talking about how it is harder and it is make no mistake flying is harder than driving but driving is so much fun and i know that it's something that you can enjoy with your family with your spouse or even with yourself it is you know it's not just a loner hobby you could get two of these and you could go to town it would be so much fun um and also you could have battles but anyway i just i got to employ you guys this thing is awesome i didn't know what to expect but I've really enjoyed it so far and I think you will too. So definitely check it out in the links in the video description below, or you can go to brianphillipsrc.com and see all the products we've reviewed there in one place. And there are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So definitely stay tuned. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, click the bell for notifications. We are releasing video footage 
two, three, four, five times a week right now. So we would love you guys to be um, alerted when, when we are releasing stuff because there is just so much to come here on Brian Phillips RC. Thanks for watching. YouTube, Brian Phillips. Look at this, we have a box. We're gonna open it, but wait. First, we have to do a switcheroo. Oh, we're doing it this way? Yes, okay. this way. We're doing it this way. The camera crew has been, you have suggested <laughs> that the camera crew be me. And after you suggest something 10,000 times, we, listen. we consider it. Maybe. Maybe. Sort of. All right, here we're we go. We're gonna see how this goes. So we're gonna cut this open. This stuff is a little more my speed. I'm working on flying. It's gonna take me 27 more years to do it. Oops. Oh, paper. Okay, good job. Just shipping information. Yeah. And, ooh, cool. What is this? Oh boy, what ooh. do we have here? One six, cool. 1941. Willie's MB, also known as the Jimny, right? Is that right? Yes, I believe so, yeah. Very, very cool. cool. Okay, so this is a one-sixth scale. So yep. let's get that thing out so of the box. So we're gonna dump this out of here there carefully. Paperwork on the side. I'll just, oh, it's just the instructions, cool. Instructions, oh, okay. All right. Small rock or something from China. Got the one-sixth scale. Okay. Super cool. Manual, wow. all right. Look at this, Ooh. we've got a handle. Awesome. Whoa. That is super cool. Realistic molded body, servo driven steering, functional headlights and anti-aircraft lights, fold away front windshield, so fits cool. most one six scale figures. Does it come with a dude? No, but if it doesn't, we're gonna have to be putting some Barbies in there. Optional canvas top, we'll have to find some. Functional spare wheels, pre-painted shovel and ax. Always That's what, what I'm looking showing. for. Oh. Right here, cool. whoa. 324 millimeter wheelbase crawler chassis. I'm excited to take this up and drive this up in the front where Brian's been doing some dirt work. You might have to help me unbox this thing, huh? Listen, I think the problem you had on the other one Here, was you, wanna... you push this down. Okay. Now stick your hand in there. Okay. You gotta guide it. Oh man. These things can be pretty ter they can terrible. Be. I'm telling you, it's already ripped too on the side. Is it? Yeah. I feel like, are you, are you, I'm trying to pull the thing out. You're pulling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm gonna pull this way. I don't know <laughs> if we're gonna get it. I don't We've, think we are. I don't know if you guys have had the same problem. When we open these cases, I don't know if they're supposed to slide out or if they're supposed to be ripped out. And they so don't slide very well. this is technically an unbox, so here. Rip it. Okay. It's already ripped over here, unfortunately. So we're gonna rip through here. You can do it. See, now oh, okay. it looks like something there I would go. do. Yes, it does. Let's see. Okay. Oh. All right. We'll just throw that over here. Man, that is so wow. nice. Like, even the handle is super heavy duty. I really like the cases that these come with for the cars. Let's see if I can open it from. Wow. Awesome. Whoa, that's cool. It's so that's sweet. That's super cool. It's bigger than I thought it's it was going to be. Oh, it has, yeah. Like, squishy foam seats. Oh, that's so cool. It's They're like actually actual, like, like fabric. fabric seats. What's this? Tires, what's that? Looks like a... Oh. Can't oh, tell. something for like mirrors maybe? Uh, you know what I bet that is? Those are windshield wipers. Oh, okay. All right, let's take okay. this thing out of here. How heavy is it? Wow, that is really cool. Here, hold on. I don't want to drop on the controller. On the controller. Wow. That's really cool. That's impressive. Okay, we have a rod in here okay. too. I don't know what that rod is for. Huh. That's everything that's in the case, guys. It's metal. That's, so that's it. everything. It's empty. And it packs easy. Yes. So does it snap sure. shut? How does this work? Let's so go. then they just fold and snap. They, they do snap? lock shut. That's cool. So, okay. Cool. All right. We'll just lay this out of the way right here. Ooh, what's that? Let's look at this thing a little bit closer. Look at the details. The mirror is a mirror. Can you see yourself over there? Oh, so all the details on the Very neat. instrument cluster. Seats. Look, the gas tank is strapped in with straps. Look at the... The fuel tank actually would come off. Whoa, hold on a sec. What? Is that a box? No, it's no, just No, that's water. what I was looking at too. Well, oh, there's your pre-painted ax and shovel. In case you get stuck in the dirt, do I have to dig you out with that? Mm. No, but they're like legit straps and everything. Look at these squishy tires. Those are big tires. 
Yeah, they're actually like traction-y. I'm gonna fold this up. Oh, another mirror. Yep, another mirror. So cool. Cool. Fold this up, just a little bit of foam to protect. Those decals are really cool. Peel that off of there. Cool. I'm excited to see the lights on this. Hold on, I gotta see this real quick. What? Let's put them in the seat. <laughs> You're the driver. Oh, I can't get the camera low enough. Low enough. Here, we'll go here. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. The glass is kind of hard to see through though. It is a little bit. There's a little bit I noticed bit of there's the... a little bit of an issue there on that. Is it not super transparent or what is the deal? Um, It's got maybe like a coating on it because from certain angles I can see kind of that rainbow. It's plastic. Look. It's not yeah. glass, okay, which is a bit disappointing. Thing. Let's flip this thing over. You want to come look at it? Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Oh, wow. Okay, Holy good. Cow. Whoa, look at that motor. Jeez. Holy crap, that thing is huge. That is so cool. So that is an FMS. It's hard to read. Brushed. So, no. Is it a brushed? It's brushed? Really? Does that say brushed? Yeah, it says brushed It says right brushed. There. Okay, yeah. so it's big. 15 kilogram, waterproof. Hold nice and still. Waterproof servo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very nice. Cool, there's your power switch there. Power switch. Okay. XT60 connector. Yep, XT60 is nice. Is that a steel frame? That's what I was that just That is trying. steel. Yeah, this here is That's all That's real steel, so cool. Look at this. Oh yeah, look there at all the go. ball links, guys. Look at this, so nice. Then these feel like they're probably steel as well. Mm-hmm, always wrong. Big differential. Can't tell if there's struts in there, if it's just springs, but I like the way that the independent suspension. And then there's another servo up here. What the heck is that for? I don't know. Flip it over. Oh, it steers the steering wheel. Oh, oh that's cool. gonna be so cool. Okay, there's a little sticker up here. Hey, wait. Yeah, what? what does it say? Yeah, peel off, I think is what it says. Let's see if here, we can get this little again. sticker off of there. Hold on, I don't wanna scratch anything. It's gonna get scratched outside, don't worry. Oh, okay, I know, I'll let you scratch it. Yep, that's what I said, peel off. So we'll open this up. Maybe, there you go. It just clicks? Yep, oh, sweet. just clicks up. Simulated engine. I wish they would have painted the engine. A different color? Look, there's an anti-crash light right there. It's and got a little rod to hold lights. it up, except it holds itself up. Oh, yeah, there's, <laughs> that's so cool. That's cool. Okay, so okay. then this, this must be windshield wipers, or what is that? Does that go on the front? I don't know. Here, let's... I think it goes on the front. Oh, yeah, they clip on the top. Look at the picture. Yeah. Okay, so I clip this down. I love that these are, like, really like, padded. Yeah. That is so I cool. I love the little, like, strap on the gas can. Just the That's detail a real strap, is crazy. And it actually works. Yeah. Gotta love all these scale. We are, well, I'm a sucker for scale stuff. And watch this. Okay, so go ahead and just drop that from, like, Two inches up. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> That's cool. Just the way that it responds, it's like they've got the springs perfectly tuned to look like a real vehicle. I love it. All right, let's see if my seven years of watching you do things. Can I put in windshield wi wipers? Whoppers. Wipers. Whoppers. Do they have to be in the way of the driver? No, they don't. Oh, sweet. They do move. Okay. Put them both on one side. That is so cool. Gotta love it. Okay, really now what cool. the heck is this for? I don't know. Okay, let's look. I don't it's need metal. A, I don't need a wing joiner here. Oh, we need to look and see what size oh, battery look. this needs to be. You know what it is? What? It's for the, it's for the. Oh, the optional uh, canopy. Oh, there's a zip tie. Zip tied on. Did... Well, wait, wait, slide the zip ties. See those, that goes here. There's like, if you slide the zip ties all the way back, then you can take it apart. Do you want to pull it Should all the way out? Should grab a pair of side cutters? No, we'll just take it out like this. Just pull it out. Or wait, is that connected? Mm -hmm. That's connected there? See, it's just got a clip. But what I'm thinking about is, okay, so I don't want to necessarily undo that because I don't have a canopy. Right. But what I'm thinking is that the steel rod would be used for that. Would be used as part of the canopy support system. That makes sense. So I don't know if there's a place where it would go in the in the vehicle. Yeah, there's this spot here, hon. There's like a spot in the middle. I bet you anything that's got something to do with supporting the canopy. Sense. Yep. Opening the hood, wiper installation, we did all of those things. Here's the canvas bracket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pull it back out. Yep. 
you slip it down. Cool. Pretty simple for. So yeah, that would that would V out from here, mm -hmm. and then it would act as your support. Okay, so let's see, where's the steel but rod then? See, there's still not a steel rod in that picture. So what the heck is this thing for? I don't know. Is it like a replacement it's part? Operating the vehicle, so it's not that. It's not opening the hood. We already did the windshield. You can take the whole chassis off and look, there, there it is. Oh, yep. That's the for vehicle the brace. Okay, so there's, so let's look at how we do that then. Do you want to film this for just a second? Because sure. this is kind of weird. Yep. Okay, so right under here, there's two quick release pins like that. Mm -hmm. And then if you look from the other side, there's another one right there. Okay. Oh, look, the clamp. So cool. Oh. oh. Ah, oh. there it is. So then your battery goes right here. And uh, the rod is used to support the body. Okay, nice. At different heights, depending on what you need. I don't know if they really meant for that to be at different heights or if that was just a happy accident, but it does actually work, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna actually put it at the lowest one I can figure out. I think that's center. I think point. it's right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that holds it up pretty good. So then you cool. can load the battery fairly easy. Those clips are gonna be pretty easy to, to lose though. What does it run on, Cam Crew? That's what I was just looking for. I think it runs on a 2S hard pack. Uh, actually, it says 2 or 3S. Really? Yep. 2 or 3S. Okay, so if this runs on 3S, is there a reason why we wouldn't just run it on 3S? Um, no. Because... Uh, I would just assume. Why would we not? 3S 3200, if okay. it'll fit. If it but fits. let's try it. Now, you guys that are used to seeing our channel, oh yeah. Oh, well, that's like perfect. It's literally a perfect fit. Now, there's no straps included on here right. either, I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Well, there actually are straps right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does that open? It totally doesn't open. It just comes off. <laughs> but that is, <laughs> that is so cool. I am just loving all these little details. Granted, I just hope I didn't break that. No, I didn't break it. It did come off though. Um, okay, so yeah, if you need a strap, by the way, that is a legit spare tire. Wow, so That's cool. Like, yeah. There's actually five lugs. That is so cool. That's cool. Did you see that? They're actual functional lugs yeah. too. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and get the transmitter figured out because oh, we can't yeah. really power it up yet. Now you may be noticing that I have an XT60 plug on the car and then I have an IC3. Now just to be clear, the IC3 will plug into the XT60. So if you wanna give us just a second, I'll show you what an adapter looks like if you wanna buy one of those. Okay, so we were talking about adapters. So here's an adapter, okay? This is an XT60 battery adapter, female to EC3 device. Horizon likes to make their nomenclature weird, which is battery and device. So battery plugs into device. How that works. <laughs> yes. So if you want to open this back up, I'm sorry, I keep oh, holding no, the fine. camera space. So we're going to open that back up. And then what are we going to do? We are going to show them the two other batteries that are super exciting mm -hmm. and might work really good in this. Yes. This is probably what we're going to use anyway, because it's a 3S and I yeah. think it's charged. It's ready to go. Yeah. Actually, you know what? what? While, while you get that, show them how that plugs in. Can you do that? Oh, with, well, you took my battery. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> what? Okay, so the other thing I was thinking is we could show how to charge this thing too. Right. Because obviously, if you don't have a charger, then we're gonna show you what you could use. Now, what we have tons of chargers and tons of batteries, correct? Yes. Yes, we have tons. tons. But if you need a charger and you're looking for like a package solution, this would be a great choice because mm -hmm. it'll go to 4S or 3S or 2S. Mm -hmm. Generally, if you're doing one S, you're not going to have that type of charger, but let's show how the battery works. So you have a battery, works. so then you have this adapter. Which is an IC3, to an IC3 on your battery to an EC3. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose your smart pin, but it doesn't matter because you're going to an XT60 anyway. Right. The XT60 is here. So Are we going to go ahead and plug in? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Just, I'm just going to put my hand in front of it. Oh, lights. I see okay. lights. Where do you see lights? Oh, on the 
controller. controller. And cool. then I saw headlights on the flashing on the front. Oh, so cool. Oh, cool. Very neat. Very neat. Very nice. And we're going to be showing that more obviously shortly, but go ahead and we open up the battery. Yeah. All let's right. Let's do that. So well, this is, why don't we start with the charger because charger the charger first. is okay. what we're going to need. Right. And by the way, we will link to that adapter. If you decide you want to do the adapter, that's fine. But you don't have to buy the adapter. You can also just plug them straight in. Do you want me to demonstrate so, that since it's kind of awkward? What, this? No, the plugging. Oh, the plugging. This is the S155 charger. Mm -hmm. Super simple to use. It's a great entry level charger. Like Brian said, goes it's a up smart to charger. 4S. Smart charger. Comes with a little instruction guide if you need that. And then the charger itself is in here. Brian will peel the little sticky off. thing we like about this S-155 is that it lowers the point of entry because if you're into aircraft and you're flying 6S planes, yeah. then you need to have a 6S charger. But if you're not flying 6S planes, then you don't necessarily need 6S charging. Right. So the S-155 works great. It does come with the AC adapter, uh, which is just AC plug. Mm -hmm. This runs on AC. It's not a DC charger. As you can see on the bottom, it says, what it takes. Okay, so the camera crew is going to plug that in. plug this in, and then we will just plug this in here under our island. Our regular island. We have an outlet. Regular out outlet right next there. to the cat water. Pretty amazing. And then the little and then smart, the logo smart logo comes logo. up. Logo. So cool. So basically, then it comes up with the regular screen. Now, the cool thing about this is you can set all your automatic discharge on your smart batteries. Mm -hmm. Obviously this has the IC3 and the IC5, which is really nice when you're getting into the bigger batteries. But there again, you're probably not gonna have huge batteries because we only go up to 4S on this configuration. And you can tell because it's right there. And because of the black on black, it's really hard to see, but you can see two through 4S. And then that's a USB for upgrade, USB-C by the way. Mm -hmm. Now, do they provide a USB-C? No. They don't. Okay. There's nothing else. They don't. So that's everything you get is you get a box, you get some cardboard, you get an instruction manual. That's it. So basically when you get this thing, oh, there's a little piece of foam in there too. There is a piece of foam. And if you get your battery, then this is a Gen 2 Smart Pack. Again, comes with the information that you need. Smart battery is. In this is a hard pack. Something that we don't generally use in the aircraft world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carefully. Open so we this trim up. that. We're gonna have to pull that thing off. Yes. Because I do not want to look at that. Forever. But the nice thing is, charging these is this easy. Ready? Yep. We're gonna switch to the IC3 connector from the IC5. Okay. We're gonna plug it in. Initiating and it's go. smart charge. That's it. Now, you can also make changes to your setup and you can see what your charge rate is. So it's at three point, good Lord, it's going to five. Okay, so five would be about right because this is a 5,000 milliamp hour mm -hmm. and that's a hard pack. Now, what's the difference between a hard pack and a soft pack? A soft pack has soft sides because there's no plastic protection on the outside. Whereas on a hard pack, there is a hard pack around the soft lithium polymer pack. So now let's go ahead and navigate in the menu and let's do our setup. So on the smart setup, you'd press and hold this uh, play button. And I believe what you would do is you can go to the current and change it, or you can go to, I think you have to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it. So these things are really hard to film because the exposure. Then you can use the down and up arrows. Trying to film both at the same time is almost impossible. Current, you can set the current. It will automatically pull up the current. It says what the voltage is. And then where do you set, where's the smart stuff? Uh, press and hold for the menu. Ah, uh, is that it? There, smart battery settings. Auto store, 72. That number I use, you could do none all the way to 240 hours. We set ours to 240 hours and then it will store that setting and it will keep and maintain this battery mm -hmm. at the end of the 240 hours. It's going to automatically discharge this pack 
to whatever you set, which I didn't pay attention, but I think it's set to 3.8 volts mm -hmm. on Gen Actually. 1 and on Gen 2, which this is a Gen 2 because it's got a single balance, uh, no balance lead. Mm -hmm. And on Gen 2s, it goes to 3.9 volts. Yep. Do we want to open up this other battery or should we get batteries in the transmitter? Let's do batteries in the transmitter. This is just kind of what the packaging looks like. And by the way, that is a 2S. One thing that's interesting about the uh, smart batteries is it's hard to tell what you're dealing with because you can't see a balance lead. So you have to really be careful not to destroy your labels. Mm, that's true. So we're gonna go ahead and put the batteries in our transmitter and we grabbed four double A's and we're just gonna follow the little instructions in there. Flat side Flat goes to, to the this. spring. Yep. Super easy. Would have been super easy. <laughs> You wouldn't have thrown them at me. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Gosh, it's the spring. Then we'll put the cover on before they pop back out. Hold on. You don't have it in the slot. There we go. Okay. Okay. We may have to tape then that thing on. Then we might. Then let's see. We have a power. Are we ready to turn this on? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we heard the twitch of the servo. Now go ahead and turn the knob, not the trigger. Oh, careful. Oh, we got our stick in there. Yeah, I think it popped funny. Okay, so we're gonna put the 3S pack into the opening, but I wanna see how that's gonna work. See, it's a little bit here. Why don't you mm -hmm. film this for a sec? I think what we're gonna need to do is we'll have to be a little bit creative how we navigate those wires. And we should be able to drop this down no problem. And that definitely goes back down without any issues. And then I couldn't actually see how it was clipped before. But I can definitely tell you that there are clips and I can definitely tell you that my battery already popped out because I didn't strap it in there. I believe it's gonna be held down once we actually get the lid down. Oh, I wonder if the lid is not allowed to close because of that lead, the way we've extended it. See, it's not popping out, so I think we're okay to do that, but we just have to hold both sides at the same time. And then this goes right here. Is that where that was? Oh, it goes back here. My apologies, folks, it's way back here. That is awkward to find. And I'm gonna try my best to get this. That one actually goes on the other side. Okay. Push really hard. Boy, as soon as, it, thank you. Put the flash on, that helps. Cause it is just awkward to see in there. And I'm sure there's probably a trick to make that easier. Also, you can move your bumpers out this, was in, this oh. is a functional real bumper mm -hmm. and the bumper you can stick out further to help protect the uh, vehicle. I don't know if this one sticks out any further. That one's pretty much where it is. But once you get this thing out in the real world, it could be kind of rough out there. So you never know. Okay, so we'll pop that back. Is there a way to clip that? Yes, there is. You can clip it all the way around so it doesn't fall. You see mm -hmm. what I did? Push in the middle. Once you've pushed in the middle, you can lean it like usual. Okay. All right, so now remember on 3S, it's faster. So I just wanna, oh, look at the st steering oh, wheel. Cool. That is so cool, guys, I gotta say. Okay, now I'm gonna try going forward. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Super precise controls. Not to mention, this lid is still open. Mm -hmm. So let's see why that's opened and how to stop it from continuing to be opened. Okay, so it's clicked down. All right, so. Whoa, that's wow. fast. <laughs> I didn't want it to shoot off the counter. Okay, so maybe what we should do is we'll reset and let the camera crew take back over and we'll put this on the ground. I was gonna say, let me drive it off the counter. Yes. Did you see the lights? I did, that is so stinking cool. That is very cool. I love that it's got the second one and they look like the right color too. They do. We okay, we're gonna like put this on the ground. Lights. Yeah, you can put it on the ground. Okay, we'll try that. We'll go this way. We'll come visit you. 
That is so cool. Let's try it on the living room first. Now guys, as you know, you've already seen this outside. So we don't wanna pull any punches. We know that you've already seen it run, but this is what it looks like when it's nice and clean. And is it big enough? Okay. You're gonna have to, boy, that doesn't turn very sharp now, does it? You know, you can turn both directions. There you go. That is it doesn't so have a cool. very tight turning radius. It packs up really fast. Yeah, but it's a crawler. Yeah. Okay. So I wanna see this down here. So if you could just do a couple of passes. Oh, that's so cool. Bring it, it up here close. really slow. How cool would that be if you had a figurine and the figurine was holding yep. onto the steering wheel and then they were driving and turning. That would be something else. Or FPV guys would be so much fun on this thing because you could totally set that up and then FPV this little thing around. Look at the suspension working, that is so neat. Gotta love it. Do the brake lights go when you go back? No, there's no lights on the back. It's definitely just the front ones, but they're bright. I think there's supposed to be lights on the back. Um, I don't see any lights. Hold on a second. Is there like another channel? I didn't see any wires there, camera crew. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Are you trying to hit the camera? I am. Is that what's going on here? That's pretty fast. Okay, so let's see how fast it actually goes. And I will try really hard to not run into you. Whoa. Okay, that's full throttle. <laughs> okay. All right, your turn? Yes, I wanna try it. There's a little, cool. one of these little buttons under the red says G L E D. That's why I think there's like some other thing. You look. You push all the buttons. G L E D. Mm -hmm. I don't know what G L E D stands for. Like, uh, go L E D. Bind. Yeah, they've got all sorts of stuff. There's a throttle yeah. reverse, steering reverse. There's steering trim, throttle trim, and then S T D R. There's dual rates. Whoa, that's powerful. Okay, so just to be clear. Yeah, it's got power, guys. That's nuts. I did not expect the Jimny to be that fast. I don't think they did that. That's not scale performance. Wow. I wasn't expecting that from a crawler. Okay, so now, just to be clear, that means you're gonna be able to do some legit damage with this thing. I might crawl over my leg. I'm excited to see it outside, but let's go I ahead. Know. The other thing is I wonder if we could increase the amount of throw. I don't think we're gonna be able to increase the amount of throw on the, the steering, because I tend to agree. I think the steering is a little bit weak. So I would say that a little bit more steering would be nice, but you can really move it quick. I mean, look at that. That's like, that's like burning out on the carpet. Wow, look at that chair. I could knock the chair over with this thing. Whoa. <laughs> Now I've driven some fast cars and some capable vehicles, but I've never knocked over furniture with it. That is crazy, folks. Wow, could you imagine how cool that'd be if there was like a little doll that just got thrown out of there? <laughs> okay, so with that, guys, buy this in the links of the video description below. We gotta get outside and drive this thing, hold on. Sorry, I keep stealing the sunshine from my camera crew. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm supposed to be doing this. Oh. Well, By the way, if you guys didn't notice it before, there are buttons in here. So you have steering trim, throttle trim, and then the last thing says, I'm trying to get you good lighting so you can read it. It says ST Dual Rate. Okay, and then of course that thing closes. So you cool. don't have to leave it out. Okay, I'm excited to go drive this outside. There's the channel three, mm -hmm. channel four, I don't see any change of condition. Is there any change on the nope, back? No, no. Just point okay. it toward me. That little light might have changed. 
So there is actually a third and fourth channel here, but they aren't hooked up to anything okay, to that anything? I can tell. Okay. So without cool. further ado, guys, if you want to buy this thing and support our channel, we'll put links to it. And it is not fully ready to run, but it does come with transmitter and receiver. You just have to provide your batteries. Mm -hmm. And it is definitely a cool, wonderful looking, amazing scale, one sixth model. We can't wait to see it outside. So we are definitely going to be doing that right now, but you've already seen it run. So by now in real life, it's all dirty and destroyed <laughs> and probably flipped over and hopefully not destroyed and broken. But we are super excited to bring you these cars and help us to thank the camera crew for being involved in our Unbox Build radio setup, which as usual, she's always involved. You just don't see her. She's behind <laughs> the scenes. So thanks for watching, guys. Come back for more.